Hey, Ron here, and uh, I have another tip. It's uh, this time with the Foley 672 bed knife grinder. Okay, we have the Foley 672 bed knife grinder, and there was a couple things I wanted to modify, see if I can improve things. One was this exhaust vent, and uh, it's actually a suction, and you'll see it's going way up and sucks the fumes out of the building and of course after I added this suddenly our safety department wanted to check it for its you know effectiveness so they decided that there would be a little there was a little bit sneaking out on the side so I had to add a second one over here that goes out over here through the window and I could take this one off it has like a magnetic uh, attachment and I could use it to uh, move it around like over here from uh, soldering something get rid of the fumes from that otherwise I'll leave it back there and then plug it in right here and it works really good I'll uh, we'll plug it in and on the inside there's the suction hole and a little bit of a look at this side the excess that came out they use some kind of a squeeze smoke container that did this tested it and the other thing I decided to do was normally there's a lot of fluid down in here and it's, it's got some kind of an antifreeze solution in it looks like this and uh, what I found is while the machine's going and uh, you know you have the the uh, cooling fluid coming out for the knives. I'm going to turn it on here. Okay, that goes out and cools your bed knife, and then the uh, motion of the stone sets it in flight, makes it airborne. I can taste it in the air and smell it. And uh, so the vacuums helped with that. The other thing I, I didn't like was this basin normally was full, one side to the other of the solution. Down in that gully was the pipe, or the pump, I'm sorry. And the, the thing is, is it would evaporate all year round. You don't do it, or you use it, you use it, you don't use it, whatever the case may be, it evaporates. And you have to mix up more. This stuff is expensive. So what I decided to do was to uh, relocate it, relocate the pump. Now, if you see here, that's where the wire, the electrical wire for the pump used to be. Now it's the fluid hose that goes up to the squirt jet okay and I relocated the plug um, and the pump and everything else underneath the machine into a, a single five gallon or less than five gallon I think bucket no I think it's five and hopefully you can see that up there that's all the pipes the drains coming down there's two drains they're going into this bucket the electrical wire and the pump output pressure hose all going up now why I did this it doesn't evaporate it's a top on it it has holes drilled in it only appropriately sized for each hose and wire and it works real good I have less fluid in it I don't even think I have the full five gallons in this bucket but it doesn't evaporate anymore it just goes in there now one person I had posted this on a golf maintenance site and one person basically said, so essentially you rolled this back to an older model uh, that, that actually they, they used to have one that worked like that, had a remote reservoir. And he said the only issue I see in it is airborne particles of uh, grinding flakes of, of steel, which um, I agree with, but I think my vacuums uh, definitely take care of that problem. I don't taste anything in the air and I don't smell it. So that's my tip and my trick. Thanks for watching.